Hey everyone, it's me. I want to share with you some swatches from my most recent MAC goodies or purchase. These collections are coming out like crazy back to back and I feel like I cannot catch up. I don't know about you guys, but I still haven't edited and uploaded my Playland collection and I still have stuff I haven't even swatched. Osborne's come out on Monday. There's another collection, Something Mood. I forget the name of that one. I'm trying to keep up, so just bear with me if you can. What I want to share with you is the Alluring Aquatic line or collection. It just came out online probably two weeks ago, if that long. I went ahead and grabbed four lipsticks and I grabbed four lip glasses. The only lipstick I did not grab was Siren Song. I believe the only lip glass I did not grab was Water Delis, I believe. So I'm going to share with you guys what I have. Excuse my face, I have absolutely no makeup on, no concealer, no highlighter, no anything. I wore red lipstick today. I took it off. As you can see, my lips are still red. So what I'm going to do is try to mute my lips out as much as possible because I don't want this red to interfere with the swatches. I want to show a true swatch and an actual color of what the lipstick will look like on. So let me get right into putting something on these lips. I'll be right back. What I'm going to go ahead and use is my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. I'm an NC45. This is an NC45. And my Faux Blender Sponge. And like I said, I'm just going to mute this out. So, let's get the muting. So, my lips are... As muted as they're going to get. I have a lint somewhere. First swatch I'm going to share with you is Enchanted One. This is a matte. It's nude in color, but when you look at it, it looks like it has a hint of pink in it. But on me, it's rather nude. So let's swatch this one first. Okay, I did the same thing, or I'm going to do the same thing with all of the lip colors. Um, I thought once I took the enchanted off, the red would kind of tone down. It actually didn't. So, muted out my lips for the second swatch. And this is Pat Me Please. I absolutely love this color. And I thought I wouldn't because it's a frost, and I hate frost. I feel like frost is so solid gold just 70s oh I just hate frost but since I purchased this color and I've been wearing it I'm kind of warming up to the idea of frost so I appreciate this color a lot um, this is what the color looks like it's sort of like a beige shimmer or beige frost at first glance and I'm going to go ahead and put it on The next color is a cream sheen and it is called Mystical. I thought that I would really, really, really love this color, but I was worried that one of these lipsticks would remind me of Bad Girl Riri. And I feel like this reminds me of that color, which does not look good on me. I got rid of all of my backups. That color is just on me. So, um, this is mystical. Okay, last but not least for the lipsticks. This cream sheen called Goddess of the Sea. This is what it looks like. Really pretty color, like mystical, but more plum. And let's see what it looks like on. Oh, 
All right, next up are the lip glasses. I feel like each lip glass that I purchase ironically goes with the lipstick that I purchase. For example, this is Modern Lore. I feel like it's a perfect match to Goddess of Sea. I feel like Peach Stock is a perfect match to Enchanted One. Um, Seducing Sound is a good match for Mystical. Is it Mystical? Yeah. And Clear Water is a good match for Pat Me Please. They all kind of are in the same family in my opinion. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and swatch Modern Lore. And with the lip glass packaging, it's raised also as far as the bubbles, but they're really, really small and really, really fine. They're not as large as the bubbles that are on the lipstick. But let me do a close up so you can see all of the sparkle in this. Okay, lip. look at all of the sparkle in this lippy. It's so shimmery and so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Modern Lore. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a swatch on the back of my hand. And it's a really pretty raspberry color. Really pretty. I want to see what it looks like over Goddess of Sea. You know what I feel like? I feel like the lipstick is a daytime look. Once you put the lip glass over top of it, over top of it, it immediately goes to like nighttime. I feel like it changes the entire look of my face of the day and everything. Not in a bad way, but I really, really like that. It. So versatile from one end to the next. Or you can just wear the lip glass by yourself. It's definitely your choice. But this is both of them. The next lip glass I'm going to swatch is Seducing Sound. This also has shimmer in it as well, but not as much as the other two colors that I mentioned earlier. But at first glance, it sort of looks like Ooh Baby with some shimmer. But let's see what this looks like. Not as pigmented but still a really pretty color. I'm just gonna put this on with my bare lips to get a better look. And it's really pretty. It can be worn by itself. As you can see, and give your lip that extra oop that it needs. It's a really, really, really pretty color. Hopefully you guys can see clear water. It is really, really sheer. It's really neutral. I'm trying to move my hand around so you can see the shimmer. But these are a swatch of all of the lip glasses side by side. So that is my MAC haul for Alluring Aquatic. Um, I also purchased a extra dimension skin finish, I believe. Um, as well as a lip pencil. No need to really swatch those because I know that we all love the lipsticks. So I wanted to definitely share with you guys um, the lipsticks and what they look like on. Did you pick up anything from the collection? If so, what did you grab? How do you like it? Um, is there anything you wish you would have gotten but you didn't? Please comment below and I will check you guys next time. Bye!